Hello, welcome to Cooking with Cornbread. And Minion. And Minion. <laughs> uh, she wanted me to try this fluffy thing. Mm -hmm. Come with my mic. I've had it the mic for like a year or whatever. She wanted me to try it out. And hopefully it works. I don't know. You just, yeah. Go along with them. So um, today we're going to do a brownie. Easy. Easy recipe. I was British earlier. I was not British earlier. <laughs> she wanted to know about the eggs it and the oil. It is so funny. So flour. Flour. Yeah, it's just a flour. <laughs> What's that? Baking powder. <laughs> so. The, my my thinking today, I wasn't going to do a video, and I'm I'm trying to get back into doing the videos. Uh, and my thinking was is to get your kids in there because I like Friday. I was just thinking, uh, no, it's Thursday. Kenley made supper because Crystal's like, if you get home before I do, can you start uh, uh, me and your daughter chicken? And I was like, yeah. yeah no, I get home and Kenley's already done it. Uh, Kinley's made her own cake. Kinley. Kinley and me made our own pasta. Yeah, they made their own pasta. Her and Madeline. Um, so get your kids in the kitchen, man. Uh, it's fun. Uh, and, and, it, and it gives them confidence to do other things, man. You know. Um, I'm a So Kinley started. Madeline, Madeline too. They, they're both around the same. Kinley still comes in the kitchen. She won't come on camera. Madeline lo loves to be on the camera, obviously. She's my she's my superstar. Um, but uh, let them help, man. Uh, give them tips. Um, I give, I'll give my girls all kinds of tips when we're in here why, why you do this or why you don't do that. Um, just some... Uh, parenting advice man get, get them in the kitchen if, if you don't cook or you don't like cooking or whatever and you don't know the skills okay you, you love do it. You, you love to do something get them in the fields get them yeah you go like go hunting take them hunting like take go fishing take them fishing yeah you like work on cars let them have you work on cars man whatever you're into i love the coats my girls love the coats yeah they I get uh the coach cheerleader they they get up uh, a little bit uh they say dad's obnoxious sometimes because when I watch the game. Little. Notebook that she was drawing. I think she used this at. No, nah, she didn't use. Yeah, no, nope, she didn't use this one at church. Okay, so brownies. So these are going to go. You're going to preset your oven at 350. 350 for 20 to 25 minutes. A little tip. Excuse me. Had to blow my nose. A little tip. Uh, go for the lesser number and uh, use a toothpick because uh, baking you, you go by time time is very very important but you also go by temp and we're not going to put a temperature probe in there I guess you could um, but use a toothpick and it comes out clean you're good um, this this actually you want to go a little gooey What's this yeah um, uh, that's my meter probe. <laughs> Excuse me. Put that back up. That's, that's for me. And oh, so oh. you go by you go by time with baking, but you want to go by internal temp. That, that's the way you check. <laughs> also, a lot of visual stuff with baking, like cookies. You'll see. You'll be able to notice. Um, so 20, 25 minutes. So at 20 minutes, we'll we'll check. I won't show you me putting them in the oven. I will just show you, excuse me, uh, show you my uh, C O L T S Go Coast. Lost my train of thought. Anyways, um, it says to grease a nine by nine. I think this is eight by eight, but it still worked fine. No problem. That's why we check by temp. No, no, no oven is the same, and no um, pan is the same. You know, that's why you, you check with a toothpick. Um, and it says to grease. I don't like greasing. This, it, this will stick. Um, you don't 
so use parchment paper. And what's what, what's going to happen is it'll it'll uh, pull away from the edges. That's how you start to know it's done. That's the visual, and in the center will poke. But it'll pull away from the edges. Cakes are the same way; they pull away from the edges. That's how you know they're getting. They're at least getting the coat uh, coats. <laughs> She, she was asking something uh, was, uh, close. Um, that's how you know that it's getting close to being done. Um, <coughs> pardon? We butter um, cake pans. Yes, we do butter cake pans. This is, this is different because this has got a whole lot more sugar per flour. That was my wife that I just ignored. She's going to be mad. That's all right. We're making a cooking with cornbread. She's under the weather. I'm trying to, to make her feel better. And she's fixing to do all this. Um, that we. Uh, I'm starting to get better at this. I got everything pre-sorted. Um, when I lower this, you're going to see a sink full of dishes. And I started to do the dishes, but I figured I got more dishes to do. I got some chores to do, and I still want to watch a, a football game while I, I pump some iron. It's the cult. Coats. Go Coats. C-O-L-T-S. Go Coats. <laughs> Hit that chest up. What? All right. So, um, for the recipe, calls for a cup of sugar, half cup vegetable oil, a teaspoon of vanilla, two eggs, half cup AP flour, third cup cocoa powder, quarter teaspoon baking powder, quarter teaspoon salt, and a half cup of nuts is optional. I never put nuts in this because I never had nuts. I've got almonds here, but it's whole almonds that I eat um, for my snack. Very healthy, by the way. Um, if you're on a high-protein diet, it helps you go uh, number two. <laughs> it just does. Uh, so let's get to it. I'm going to show you what I do. Um, I've got two bowls. Let's see. This is a two quart bowl and this is a one quart bowl. And I always put my dry in the smaller bowl because you always mix in the bigger bowl. Um, the saying is, is uh, dry to wet, never wet to dry. Throw that out the window. Okay? No. Wet to dry, never dry to wet. Yes. Yeah, because you'll end up with clumps. And my helper, I'm gonna, I want to have her help. And she's on the phone with her mama. Hadn't watched the Cubs game yet. I got some chores to do. I, I'll, I'll be honest with you, pro tip. I like to do this kind of stuff. Wash dishes and some chores. I've got all my cast iron. I uh, three of my cast irons I've cleaned. Yeah. Yep, there she goes. She's yeah. probably getting on her herd to get on to me. <laughs> Don't ever do that again, Chris. Um, um, but you can pause. Man, you record it and you can pause or, or uh, fast forward to this one. What you got, cuz? My mom, mama told me to, um, when we're done with this, um, you have to help me look for my science study guide. <sighs> <laughs> Does yeah. she know the coats are playing right now? Uh, no. <laughs> yeah. Alright, I'll help you. The bill. Science study guide. All right, come on up here. Get you stew. So um, you're supposed to combine the flour, the cocoa powder, the salt, and the baking powder together. I don't do it that way. I always, even cakes do it that way. Cake says that the salt is a um, dry ingredient. I don't ever do it that way. I um, always put my salt with the wet. Yes, I did use sea, sea salt because it, it, it's finer. I've got uh, kosher salt that I use with meats and veggies and all all my savory cooking. I do use, um, if I don't have sea salt at hand, which I usually don't because I lo love kosher salt, I will grind, uh, take my mortar and pestle, mm -hmm. 
and grind the salt up finer for uh, baking. Let's bring you down. Bam. And over. You can see move that all the all the little different things in the two bowls. This is the wet bowl. This is the dry bowl. What? You're right. This is the dry bowl. This is the wet wet, wet bowl. Wet, 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 wet bowl. So, um, actually, we'll do the, the wet first. Do you need to shove this together? Are you going to do that? Yes. Or so, go ahead and put the half cup of oil in there. That's olive oil. You could use melted butter, too. I used olive oil for flavor. You can use vegetable oil. Oh, nope. Let it drain. Alright. Alright, so these are the two eggs. And you want to <coughs> just break your eggs up. Then, uh, mix them like you was going to mix it for scrambled eggs ever so slightly. All you're doing is busting the yolk up. It, it helps for a, a more even um, distribution of the eggs. Hey, Charlie. Go ahead. Pardon? You want in on you want in on this? Come on around. This is part of letting your kids help. Come on. So she's gonna have a stool. She's gonna stand on. So now that your sister has mixed them up a little bit, hand me the fork. You want to dump it? Yeah. Come on. All right. So we dump the eggs. All right, Madeline. Take uh, take the sugar, a cup of sugar. Put it in there. This is uh, this is what you would. You mean in that bowl? No, this is the wet bowl. That's the dry bowl. I know, but you cream you cream the the wet. Trust me, that's why I was fixing to explain. This is where you would cream your butter if you was using butter. And go ahead, Charlie, with the the salt. Oh, dumped it out. Hang on, that's okay. Ain't no problem. So, you just get another. If you ain't making messes in your kitchen, your kitchen ain't a happy kitchen. I've got a thing that says that right over there. Yeah, it says, and kitchen is a happy kitchen. Messy kitchen's happy kitchen because you're cooking. Yeah. Nope, not yet. <clears throat> so normally I would have done my dry first because you could use the dry fork with the wet fork and be done. All right, we need a teaspoon of vanilla. There you go. Mm. Got tea or vanilla all over my cutting board. That's all right. That's so good. Take a towel and wipe it up. <laughs> so I've got a stand mixer, but I didn't want to get that over here. What we'll do. Is mix this up. If you want to help, yes. Uh, come where I'm standing. Go yep. Go yep. full blast. So this is, this would be creaming the batter, but you're just mixing the, um, all your wet up. And we put the salt in there because I think the salt di distributes better with um, the wet I don't I'm afraid I'll get a salt bomb if not go ahead and stop it that's good so we're also putting a little air in there so what we're going to do is we'll bring this way over here and uh, let, <coughs> let the beaters beat into the or drip into the bowl 
pee. All right, so we got our half cup of flour. And this is a whole lot easier than what it seems to be. I'm recording, and I've got a four-year-old toddler. You got a nine-year-old. Tap it. Go ahead. You can tap it. There's, there's. And then hit the bowl. What, what you got? Yeah. Show, show them what you got. Got cocoa hands. Cocoa hands. That's all right. And, they, and I used, um, it calls for cocoa powder. I use special dark cocoa powder because we like dark chocolate. Mm -hmm. No problem. And we're going to use our quarter teaspoon. You can. Quarter teaspoon of baking, um, baking powder. Baking soda doesn't go with um, chocolate, and I've read why. I don't. I don't really remember. I think it deflates it. It, it does something. It just kind of reacts. I'm looking for the top to that thing. There it is. All right. <clears throat> Now the trick is, I'll put you back up here here in just a second. Okay. And you can do this part. Get you a fork. Again, we're going to mix this together so everything's even. Go ahead. I do not see my steady gun. All right, that's good. I guess I could have used my spoon because I'm going to use a spoon to transfer this. Now this is going to be very thick so this is probably where an adult needs to whoop, whoop, <laughs> down but not out. Adult needs to do this and you can have your kid help transfer it over. But uh, trick is, is you got two different size bowls here, heights. So put one bowl over the other. Okay, you want to help do that? Okay, we'll go the opposite way. And put it right here. Put your mixer on low. Go ahead. Yep. And you won't end up with a bomb. So this is why I was saying you always put uh, wet to dry. But it's kind of backwards. There you go. You helping out, Charlie? Mm -hmm. Keep going. So you just kind of what's the what's the you gotta you gotta hold up, buddy. You just got, you gotta mix everything in. That's the secret. Is you won't end up with chunks. She's helping again. Yep. This is gonna get very thick, and it's gonna hurt your forearm. Go ahead. Give me another. Go ahead. We'll crank it up. See, she got a puff of that cocoa dust. It's fixing to get real thick. Go ahead. Happen again. Just incorporate all the stuff. The more you mix it, the more gluten you'll have. And the tougher the brownie will be. But this is like a fudge thing. and so much sugar compared to the dry ingredients. Go ahead. And it's, it's, just, it's a super simple, easy recipe that I don't know why you go and buy a little Debbie Brownie. You make these. She's texting, so I'm going to do this. Once you get down to the lower end, while you still got it on low, this is where it gets thick. I hope y'all can hear me all right. New scientific uh, rabbit uh, bunny tail. Yeah. 
Charlie, did you see my microphone cover? Look, look at my chest. Feel it. This is Peter Cottontail. It's soft, ain't it? Huh? Yeah. You tell him hello. Say hello, everybody. Hello. Well, her. So Charlie told me today that when her mama goes to work, she prays for her. Of course, she prays for when. <coughs> Yeah, there you go. Magic. She said, dear magic. And she she asked about Jesus. She asked me the a few months ago actually how you talk to Jesus. Thought you pray. Yep, no more. We're just getting everything incorporated now. That's what she was really waiting for is a beater. <laughs> Wasn't you? You want it? You want it? So they get to lick the beaters. Um, okay. See you later. See you later. Uh. See you later. See you later. See you. It's your Pepper Pig area. I heard Pepper Pig has gay couples. What? What? Yeah, just seen that. So this is real thick. What I'm doing now is just taking my rubber spatula, kind of making sure that I don't have any dry spots. Spots. Spots, which I don't. And I got a mustache. You got a mustache. Mm -hmm. I got a mustache. Kinda looks like a turd. <laughs> but um, I was proud that she asked about how to talk to Jesus and that she prayed for mama. She might be praying with magic, dear magic magic, but she's four. And for a four-year-old to be talking like that, man, pretty good. See how gooey it is? That's because of the amount of sugar and dry, actually, compared to the amount of liquid. The only liquid we put in, really, was two eggs and a uh, half-cup vegetable oil. I call it vegetable oil. Olive oil. And what they're waiting for too is they'll lick this spoon or spatula. Awesome. Yeah, we're real chill. We're, we are weird. Chill. Chill. Okay, I really. These are Pioneer Woman spatulas, spatulas and they're really good. Uh -huh. They're really stiff, though. I don't like them. The other ones I got are super cheap, and they the top of the. The rubber part pops off the wood and stuff, <clears throat> but they're very, very flimsy, and I like it because you can really get in there. So just work it to the edge here. You can't really see what I'm doing. It's a uh, this will puff up. So when I mixed it with the spatula, that's they're going to get a good amount on that spatula. When I mixed it with the, with the spatula, that's when you'd add your half cup of nuts if you wanted to mix it by hand. And uh, I won't show you the rest. This is it. Uh, 20, 20, 25 minutes. Uh, like I said, start checking at 20. Then then add a couple minutes if it's still gooey. Uh, or you, once you do it for a while, you can be able to tell. But uh, this is... Huh? Should make some oobleck? Oobleck. Oob oobleck. Oobleck. What are you talking about, man? Hang on, I'm Well, I just made a brownie. <laughs> it's not. Super cheap. It's not food. Oh, she's wanting to use cornstarch and water and stuff, I think. Nah. Mm -hmm. We save cornstarch for food and our butt crack when it's hot outside. <laughs> this has been Cooking with Cornbread. I'm glad you joined me. Hit that like, subscribe, notification, whatever. Hit the notification bell. Uh, but if you do like it, hit the like. Uh, I started, I'm going to ramp this up. Every Sunday I'm going to do something with my daughters. Get your kids in the kitchen with you. Or whatever you like to do, like I said. Uh... Who? Come here. Come here. What? Yes. This is perfect. Perfect. I want a spoon. <laughs> no. Tell me she don't like it.
Huh? I like spin. You can get a spoon. You'll help her lick the bowl. MRE spoon. Thank you. That's why I didn't do the dishes before. This has been cooking with cornbread. Love y'all, man. We'll see you next time.